Good Saturday morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing. Taking a look at our impact map, uh, looking a little bit better. Thunderstorms are now coming in with higher humidity, and they should be wetter as we go through today and tomorrow, where you see the areas in green. And after a brief break, there'll be more uh, shower and thunderstorm activity early next week, so this should modify things nicely. Uh, we did have quite a bit of lightning activity yesterday. You can see on the right-hand side just getting carpet bombed across southern Nevada, Arizona Strip, and uh, um, some of the uh, lightning here that's a little bit more sparse. Uh, did have some drier strikes in between uh, as well as up in Idaho, but also the humidity did come up quite a bit as well. You can see the rain activity, the heaviest down south, uh, lighter amounts as you head further north. Initial attack was fairly light, uh, 17 uh, new fires, uh, circles in the red, otherwise existing fires uh, in the yellow, and uh, there was some growth on the tungsten fire, but otherwise, overall, uh, higher humidity did help out a little bit. Uh, we look at precipitation the past seven days on the left-hand side. You can see how dry we have been uh, prior to yesterday's precipitation, even the past 30 days on the right-hand side. Some pockets of heavy amounts of a, uh, a half inch to an inch of rain here in southern Utah and the Arizona Strip, but this is this should usually be, be about several inches uh, with the monsoon, but that tapered off uh, quite a while ago. You see southern areas quite dry, and that's why we're starting to get new starts here across parts of southern Utah and southern Nevada. Looking at our ERC fuel conditions, you can see that things have moistened up in the past 24 hours. ERC-wise, more green here in southern areas. Uh, still dry across uh, far southeastern areas where some of the thunderstorms have skipped. Uh, increasingly more critical as you head further north. But even a lot of these values up here, up in the mountains of central Idaho, uh, a lot of these observations came in before yesterday's rain. So these will be going down a bit as well. We look at the 10-hour fuel forecast for today. You can see how much it's modified in the grass and brush across southern Nevada. Uh, still some concerns across uh, southeastern and east central Idaho and up into uh, our record grass crop up here in northern Nevada and southern Idaho. Uh, still some concerns there. So here's a look at our satellite imagery, and what we see through here is with this low pressure off the uh, southern California coast, moisture from the south and the subtropics being drawn up, continuing with the heavy shower and thunderstorm activity across our southern areas, uh, moisture pushing all the way up into Idaho and further to eastern Idaho and the Wyoming border. So a lot of our eastern areas and northern areas will continue with thunderstorm activity there. Here you can see Hurricane Irma continuing to track across the northern coast of Cuba. We'll eventually make that turn up towards the west coast of Florida. So taking a look at today's upper level map, you can see with a stationary low pressure off the southern California coast, the southerly flow ahead of it is pumping up uh, more moisture from the subtropics, and that's enhancing the precipitation and cloud cover in areas in the green. You can see how our fuels have modified. We no longer have any critically dry areas. Our driest parts in Idaho did get higher humidity and showers. Taking a look today at precipitation, it should start pushing off to the east. Still some isolated to scattered activity across Nevada by the popcorn kernel texture of the precipitation steadier across the Arizona Strip, southern Nevada, and across the mountains of Utah, and also parts of the mountains of Idaho as well. Winds fairly light overall this afternoon, except for localized outflow boundaries over 40 miles per hour, where you see areas shaded in the purple. On Sunday, moisture starts skirting further off to the east. Uh, still some lingering stuff across uh, parts of Nevada. So our fuels uh, starting to dry out a little bit after being uh, moistened uh, uh, slightly. We see that the precipitation now pushes off into uh, parts of western Wyoming and into eastern Utah. Winds fairly light overall. And um, on Monday, some drier air starts arcing as we have high pressure kind of building in. Still some moisture lingering across parts of Nevada. Uh, our central mountains of Idaho will be the main ones to dry out, otherwise moderately dry to, uh, moderately dry to moistening as you head uh, further to the south. Um, our wind field through here um, on Monday, uh, light overall except in these areas of thunderstorms. Now if we look at precipitation, uh, what we'll see through here is that uh, precipitation over the next three days quite moderate um, across um, our southern areas of Nevada and Utah. Um, heavy amounts here, of course, with our hurricane system. So let's look at the latest track of Irma. The storm track has changed now to parallel the Gulf Coast, making landfall somewhere near Port Charlotte or so uh, 
very uh, uh, late uh, tonight or more so, probably on Sunday. So that's the main concern through there. And let's take a look further down the road as we go through Tuesday. See that low pressure still staying through here. And as long as that low pressure stays here, occasionally showers and thunderstorms will push up into parts of Nevada, Northern California, so and into Idaho as well. So our fuels moisten up a little bit. And that same story continues as the showers push on in ahead of a pretty strong trough for low pressure. So we continue to moisten and remain moist through Wednesday. Uh, it's not until Thursday, drier air slowly starts to push in, but it'll be cooler air, but still some good showers across our northern and eastern areas. And then by Friday, low pressure, deep low over northern Montana, and what we'll see through here is drier air starting to push in from the west finally, but it'll be a gradual process, precipitation over the entire seven-day period. And if we look further down the road, our uh, 8 to 14 day outlook, September 16th to the 22nd, near normal temperatures. Um, normal precipitation in southern areas, wetter than normal to our north. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.